TV at vafatv.com. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of VAFA TV. We're back at University Oval as we said we would be to see how Uni Blues do it on a Thursday night. We're going to see if they've got someone that can take it up in VAFA TV's search for a star. Before we do that and go inside and have a look at how Blues do it and continue our look at the, the new Pavi here, we've got the second half of that coming up as well. Let's have a look at the marks and goals of the week from the last week of the VAF. The VAFA two times you goal of the year. Goal A, Sam McBain, Bo Morris. Goal B, Jacob Bavanda, St Bernard's. Goal C, Jared Reed, Old Carey. Goal D, Jared Carlson, Marcelin. Goal E, Mark Geshk, St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Vote for your favourite goal at BAFATV.com. The VAFA BLK Mark of the Year. Mark A, Courtney Hilton, Collegians. Mark B, Tom Pempathy Collegians. Mark C, Jake Lou, Ajax. Mark D, Luke Wintles and Beads Mentone Tigers. Vote for your favourite mark at VAFATV.com. We've been uh, continuing the search for Anytime Fitness's Ultimate Athlete through VAFA TV. We're going to have another look now. The VAFA's Ultimate Athlete, thanks to Anytime Fitness. Feel something better at an Anytime Fitness gym near you. This week's competitor, Harrison Mills from Caulfield Grammarians. Into the agility run, and Harrison has his three runs here. We'll have a quick look at those, all of them over eight seconds at this stage. So that leaves him fourth, leaving Ben Hart out in front, still in the agility. Onto the chin-ups now, and Harrison's punching him out here. Let's see how many he can do. Take a look at the uh, chin-up cam. Speed this up for you, and he's struggling. And it looks like he's gonna max out at 13. So that's an overall position of fourth. Harry Lay, the leader on 21. On to the vertical jump now. Harrison, one of our shortest competitors at 176 centimeters. Harrison's best jump there, 59 centimeters for 33.52% of his height. He's third overall in the vertical jump. On to the bench press. Harrison tips the scales at 76 kilos, so lifting 57 and a half kilos for those three quarters. Let's fast forward through here. So he manages 19 reps to sit third behind Harry Lay and Ben Hart. Onto the row now. Harrison taking up the thousand meters. He looks like he's got a good style there. This has been the least favorite, remembering the winner of the Ultimate Athlete will receive a year's membership to Anytime Fitness. And Harrison comes in with a time of 3 minutes 24, leaving him third overall in the row. Let's have a chat. Uh, not too bad. It was uh, pretty challenging with a lot of them being uh, strength and power exercises, which doesn't really suit my body type. Uh, it would probably be the agility sprint. Um, just sort of suits me a bit more than, say, something like the bench, which I struggled against compared to the other boys. Would you be so the combined aggregate scoreboard sees Harry lay on top from Ben Hart in second and Harrison Mills slots in at third. 
Join us next week as we continue the search for VAFA TV's and Anytime Fitness's Ultimate Athlete. Whilst the sausages are sizzling, let's have a look at the rest of the pavy underneath. And this is the huge new change rooms. Quick dash through the bathrooms and there's not an expense spared. But the thing I love is the player race. Walk up the tunnel and you're out in the action. And what new footy facility is complete without a wonderful big open fire. Now we've rushed through the pavy this week because there's a super search for a star coming up right now. Two's ten, three's ten dollar multi, four is uh, topless selfie or 25 bucks. <laughs> Nice pick of mate, and six is shape of pill or 30 bucks. Tell a story. Yeah, tell a story. Tell a story. Yeah, 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 tell a story. I must have got myself a bit lost, I think, because I'll see most of these out that way. Oh, have another roll. Have another roll. Have another roll. Yeah, so I've seen him most of the out that way and sort of got on the tow and tried to walk to his place, I think. Obviously, got myself a bit lost and knocked on the door, and uh, there, opens the door, is uh, what did we get a minute ago? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, driving home at four in the morning. Yeah, driving, and then, yeah, driving home at four in the morning. J'ai déjà joué quelques matchs. Oui. Et euh, ouais, on a troisième équipe. Ouais. Pour... ouais. ouais. Bah, mon premier match c'était la, la semaine dernière. Donc, ouais. Euh, ouais. Ça va. C'était très bien. Ouais, ouais c'était sympa. Tu gagnais les ballons. Euh... Ouais, ouais, j'en ai. J'ai eu quelques, quelques, quelques ballons. Ouais. Très bien. <rire> you like? Any blues here? There you go. Uh, we're very multicultural uh, at our club. We just want to bring up a few of the new recruits that we've had this year. First up, I'd like to bring a bit of Spanish flavour. If uh, if Domingo could come up here. Domingo! Domingo! Domingo, what's your last name? El Casillas. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, what, uh, what, what brought you over to Aussie Rules football, Domingo? What were your impressions of footy? Football, Senor Butler. <laughs> <laughs> She's much like a dance with a woman. <laughs> Patricio, come. <laughs> <laughs> now, Patricio, he dance. And it's going fast. <laughs> not too hard. No, not with football. You take it slow. Run the outside. Work your wings. And then you come into the center with a short, sharp pass. <laughs> Long entries. Deep, deep entries. <laughs> Thank you, Patricio. Much like a woman. Much like a woman. You grab her and you hold her tight. You tuck her under your arm and you say, it's okay, my sweet. I take care. <laughs> Senor, it's my take on football. Now, you'll excuse me, I must go. I have a dancing class. That was my take. Keep things moving. Uh, we've got a Swedish bloke. Uh, if we could get uh, Sven out here, could we? Yeah. 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 Hello, little man. How are you? Yeah, good, man. How are you going? Yeah, I'm very good. My name is Sven. I come from Sweden. <laughs> I come from a town approximately uh, 50 kilometers in the capital city of Stockholm. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my hometown is called uh, Uppsala. Yeah. Uppsala. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, what, uh, what brought you down to the Uni Blues then? Well, the, uh, the University Blues, it's, uh, it's a very welcoming club with many, many peoples from many places. Uh, like a big, how do you say, a big uh, melting cauldron of culture. <laughs> uh, and you know, you, you both, uh, everybody here is just uh, opening me with uh, two arms. <laughs> Um, is there 
Obviously, you've come over here, you've embraced Aussie Rules football. Uh, what did you used to do back in, back in your home country, back in Sweden? Something a little bit different to the, uh, the oblongs, oblong shape of the ball. I used to play uh, ice hockey yep. on the, uh, the frozen lakes of Sweden. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, when I grow up, I play ice hockey and I want to be like the, the Swedish ice hockey captain, uh, Henrik uh, Eriksson. But uh, now I want to be like uh, my favorite Uni Blues football player, uh, Jeremy McGavin. <laughs> Jeremy McGavin, where's Jeremy McGavin? Ah, uh, Jeremy McGavin. I want to be talking about that. So I uh, look forward to uh, this, this weekend coming to uh, have many beers at the, at the pavilion and uh, maybe some, uh, some Jägermeisters. <laughs> I think uh, we've got time for maybe one or two. I'm going to give it up for Daly Trump, the Asian bowler man! <laughs> But I also like football. Yeah. Both very good sports. And the travel agent, he said to me when I'm in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City, he said, you have to go to Australia and see the Koala Bay, and you have to play Australian football. And I said, but they were such little tight shorts. <laughs> Not me, I'm, I'm a bowler man. <laughs> I need a long one, a long one. Yeah, so I get to Australia in the airport, I have a Big Mac, and then I have a, the Happy Meal. And then I get the taxi to, uh, to the ground, the, 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 the uni mine over. And I see the basketball over there on the, the, on the basketball court. And they shoot in the three point. I was, Danny, no, you play different sport today. You know <laughs> so I come, I come, come here, and the, the Mr. Gleason, he said to me, said to me, Danny, you shit, but <laughs> we have no Asian player here, so we need the, the culture, the, the, the diversity. <laughs> the diversity, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's great. Did you have there been any really um really good experiences that you've had since you've arrived here that, that you'd want to share maybe? That time that uh, I come with you down to the the shed down here, you, you make the the bomb. <laughs> One more. Uh, this one's pretty fresh off the boat. We've got one from the very beautiful city of Paris, and we'd like no. to invite Strasbourg. Strasbourg. <laughs> very top. Uh, so we'd like to invite uh, Frenchy, as we like to call him. Right? Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Want some you. croissant? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some um, French red wine? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll save it for later. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you going, mate? How, how, are you, how are you enjoying being at Uni Blues and football? I don't understand what you're saying now. Um, <laughs> can you speak English? You speak English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> John, I can speak in like a French accent if you, that'll make you more comfortable. Yeah, but probably. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the, uh, the football? <laughs> football? I'm not sure I, s I understand the rules. No. <laughs> Still not, but yeah, I'm trying to. Try. The guys say I, I kick well. Is yeah? It? Kick well? Yeah, yeah, kick well. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I guess, yeah, enjoy it. They are pretty cool. You are pretty cool, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And how have you enjoyed some of the social nights? I mean, we've had a few nights out. What, what do you think? Well, how how's it compared to nights out in the city of romance? Yeah, I don't re remember very well, actually. <laughs> but I remember a bit of you mm. this night and a bit of boxing with Nicey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did ask a Vietnamese person, but look, you're from the Hi. country. Of... <laughs> <laughs> you're from the from the country of romance. Yeah. yeah. How have you been going since you've been in Australia? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like, can you elaborate? It's like kicking a goal, it's like it's easy. 
Fantastic. <laughs> and uh, have you ever, uh, except for kicking goals, uh, what, el- what else have you enjoyed about Australia, mate? What else about have you Australia? enjoyed about the Uni Blues? Um, about the Uni Blues? I guess you're very welcoming and very lot, maybe a lot congratulating. That strikes me. <laughs> what, do you mean is, what do you mean by congratulating? When I came here, it was like first training. It was like, yeah, good boys, good boys, good friendship, good boys. And I was like, yeah, just run 50 meters. <laughs> is, it, is it not like that in back now? No, it's like, you should run 50 meters, you dickhead. <laughs> Fantastic. I think mean, that's probably all the time we've got time for today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> email during the week about Uni Blues got talent. I put the call around to anyone who played an instrument. We weren't that musically talented, so I knew Jack and I, um, being brothers around the house, did a bit of accent work. So I thought we could rope him in, and then um, I, I've done a couple of those just as part of um, my earlier youth at, on a radio thing. So no, it was, it was good fun, and I enjoyed the boys love it when we roll it out. Who, who's your favourite character to do? Uh, I love doing Danny. Um, I do, but I just I, I, it's much harder on film because I don't obviously look like him. Um, but <laughs> Baffer TV at vafatv.com.